Hello friends, I am going to discuss about some lower limb blocks using the transcutaneous nerve mapping device pen. In my last video, I have demonstrated how we can use the nerve mapper to learn and teach PNS guided distal upper limb blocks or some rescue blocks. If you have not watched it yet, please click on the i button above and have a look at it. I will also provide the link in the description and comment section below. So without wasting time, let's learn some lower limb rescue blocks or ankle block using a knob mapper or locator. The requirement for the transcutaneous knob mapping for drawing the landmarks and the needle insertion point and for the performance of the block are similar to those mentioned in my last video. I am not going to repeat the same to avoid wasting your valuable time. So let's enjoy some magic tricks. The posterior tibial nerve is located just posteromedial to the posterior tibial artery. If the artery is not palpable, then a point midway between the Achilles tendon and the medial malleolus deep to the flexor retinaculum is accepted as the needle insertion point. Once you get the desired motor response, that is plantar flexion of the great toe, you can decrease the current up to 0.4 mA and deposit 5 to 7 ml of local anesthetic here. For deep peroneal nerve block, first identify the extensor hallucis longus and the extensor digitorum longus tendons by asking the patient to extend the great toe. In perimalleolar approach, the deep peroneal nerve is located just lateral to the extensor hallucis longus tendon and anterior tibial artery. Distally, the deep peroneal nerve lies medial to the dorsalis pedis artery. Here, the desired motor response is dorsiflexion of the toes. For PNS guided superficial peroneal nerve block, the needle insertion point is marked at the junction of the proximal two-third and distal one-third of the line joining the lateral tibial condyle and the lateral malleolus. Here, the superficial peroneal nerve travels in the groove between the extensor digitorum longus anteriorly and peroneus brevis muscle posteriorly. The evoked motor response will be foot eversion as the superficial peroneal nerve supplies the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis muscles which are responsible for eversion of the foot. To complete the discussion on ankle block, the superficial peroneal, saphenous and sural nerves can be blocked by a subcutaneous ring of local anesthetic infiltration along this dotted line as you can see here from medial to lateral end of the Achilles tendon. That's all for today. Catch you in the next video. Until then, keep blocking, keep rocking.